Well, I'm excited about this. Ah, let's see how this goes. It does need a break in period, but hopefully it, it'll, it'll cycle the heat. Man, that was crazy. That <laughs> <laughs> shit got some power, bro. Oh, man. It's empty. Come say hey to the camera. They already know you won't get it. Come get in here. You can get in here. Yeah. Say what's up. Act like you doing YouTube. You sure you want to be a YouTube? I thought I owned you my house. Yeah, that's, that's how it goes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, YouTube family, we back with another video today. I got a special guest who happened to be my little brother. Here go my nephew. Come on. Hello. Yeah, there you go, my nephew Bryson. Go ahead and introduce, introduce yourself. What's going on, YouTube? It's a stereotype, man. Okay. Tap in with your boy. Make sure you search his music up. He makes real good music. I use. I might start back making some music. I might start rapping. He lying. He one of my main producers. Yeah. And, and you hear my shit. He made most <laughs> of the beats. Majority of the time, I'm reaching out to him to get beats for new projects and shit like that. So if you follow my music, you follow him too. Yeah, pretty much. Anyway, today we're coming to you to review this bad boy. Finally, I know y'all been waiting on this one. Yeah. I've been talking about doing a review of it, so we're gonna do a review of it today. Uh, this is the TriStar Arms uh, Compact Tactical Bullpup Shotgun. And yes, it's this damn big. I'm 6'1", 260. He about 6'4", 6'5", 240 or so. And, and it look, it's really this big. And it'll knock your block off. It will knock your block off. And for YouTube, it is empty. You can't get shot through the damn phone. You all right. <laughs> Like you good, you good. It's empty. It's empty. We good. All right. I wanted to talk to. I talk about this gun today. Uh, just the pros and cons. Because for a while, I actually let him hold this gun, and he had it longer than I did at, at one point. Like I really didn't. Cause I bought this on impulse. This this was an impulse buy. I went in to the gun shop, saw this this uh, Halo gun on the wall. I was like, what is that? I said, bring it down here. And uh, I ended up taking it home and then end up just, I, I didn't research this gun at all. Not at all. <laughs> but here recently, I actually been shooting it and I actually kind of uh, come to like it. But there's definitely a lot of things I like and there's a lot of things I don't like about this gun. And I'll, I'll tell you if I recommend it or not. Uh, what do you think about it? Well, uh, honestly, that, that specific gun, this, Try star, bro. It opened up my mind to the wonders of the shotgun. Yeah, you know, this saying? my this is my first shotgun. That's for sure. Where it's like, it's you know, you usually only see the the common shotgun, like the grandpa right. shotgun. Right? You know, you yeah, you're not from around here, are you? Yeah, but get off my property. You, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> like, but when you see this, bro, and it's got the the magazine and charging mechanisms behind the trigger you see the bull pup style and like you said this dope ass ergonomic as halo s yeah fit like that's gun, star, that's that starship trooper it, it, yeah it makes you want to dive in and really see what else is out there you know what i'm saying and and see how much this gun is capable of you feel me 
I, I like it. Like you said, there's a lot of pros for me, and I, I really only have a few cons just because of, you know, the time I got to spend with it. I, I really got a chance to dig in. Yeah. I would say my pros, like, should we go pros or cons first? Oh, uh, we can do alternate. Okay. I'm going to say a pro is, like I said, it's, you can, like, really tuck it in. It's, it's still, and I got, like, a, uh, what is, what is, what am I? Foregrip. Yeah, I got a uh, foregrip on here where you can really bring it into your chest. You can sweep a house with this. That's the dope thing about bull pups. Like it's a, it's a still a full length barrel. I think it's like a 16 inch barrel. You can sweep the house with this and you can knock somebody block off. I know they say, oh, you're supposed to put bird shot. You supposed to put slugs in there after bird shot slug. Nah. It's only S car go with me. You break in, you, I'm gonna be behind this bitch talking about wee wee. <laughs> you don't think it's gonna be? You don't think you're in French club with me? It's on the S car go with me. But um, that's one of the things I like about it. Like it's short. I feel like you can maneuver with it really easy around corners and whatnot. And uh, yeah, that's definitely a pro for me. What do you think? What is your uh, one of my cons? I'm gonna be on. Uh, yeah, I got a con. I'll do a pro. Uh, one of my cons about this is the the mat the mat catch. You know, I mean not the mat catch, but the slide catch. It's where that's one of that's yeah. one of my biggest ones. If it's you look stupid, here, awkward. If you look here, right here, if you look here, you drop your change the slide like this, and you have to literally catch that right there. And if you don't catch it, it's not gonna. That's how you gotta do it. So I, don't, I just don't like the charging handle and the mag has been on the same side. It's awkward. It kind of throws you off a little bit. It's super awkward. Like it is hard to get to. You almost, you gotta literally come over the top, yeah. slide it back. And then this yeah. little, this little switch, this exactly. little switch in here, yeah. tiny. You see that little switch? That's the, that's the catch it. Or even using the safety, like you gotta, you know, take your hand off, all come all the way back here, here and yeah. slide it up. It's weird. I don't know why they did it like that. Imagine in a home invasion situation where your gun is on safety, you have to grab it, then go all the way back here, flip that up, then go all the way that, back to the That side part is, the way they put it together is weird. Yeah. One, another thing is, it's like you gotta have the mag, the, the, this part open to put the mag in. Right. That makes no sense. Yeah. Like, that's stupid. Like, why would I have to, like, in order to, for me to put another mag in, I gotta slide this back, do this, and to put a mag in. And then, and then it's like, uh, after the last shot, it doesn't, it doesn't stay open. That. So it, you're sitting there fixing with- It doesn't lock yeah. open. You fix it with that the whole time. That makes no sense. It's not very tactical. It's not like when it, in that sense. It's like, right. hopefully you get the job done uh, in the with first that first man, <laughs> because that That's second man, man, unless you like really sit at home and practice with this, like he did, like he did more to me, because I was kind of like, hey, this shit just in my way right now, because I got my AR pistol, I'm more so into that. I kind of impulse boxes, like I said, but it's like a lot of stuff. Like I was like, that makes no sense. Now you gotta, you can't even just bang another mag in here because it doesn't like after the last shot, it doesn't lock open. So now you gotta do this, click this up, then rock it in here. Yeah. You gotta rock this whole mag in here. That's a, is that another that one of your kind? Yeah, for sure, <laughs> like, for sure, bro. Like, the AR style rocket yeah, mag. Yeah, like, like show, not, show them mag. It's not a good look for a, a, a semi-auto shotgun. Yeah, it, only like, you gotta do all this extra yeah. shit. Like you gotta rock this in. To like an AK. Yeah, it's like, I get it, it's cool. Yeah. Like you feel cool. But at the same time, that's a nut. That's it's not very tactical. Like it even, just open up. You're sitting there fucking <laughs> trying to get the rock right. Yeah, rock it, it, it just open up room for error. Exactly. Like like if you get this, put some practice in. Like really getting into yeah, it, you're sure. gonna have to because it, it's awkward when you first get it. You kind of it doesn't make any sense. And another, like we're just gonna be going. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> I was like, I gotta go with a positive. Yeah. Like, like another thing for me is like. Why all this extra plastic up here? All this extra plastic, I feel like it doesn't need to be there. I feel like they did it for like aesthetics, but I'm, I'm wondering like inside here, inside all of this, why? 
why is all this on here? It makes no sense to me. Like that's one of the things I don't really I think care that, for. I, that adds to the, you know, so like you said, the aesthetics. Yeah, it looks cool. I'm not gonna lie. That's what that's. But a lot of times it's kind of like it's not very. It yeah. doesn't have to be it's so much extra. Like what's in here? It's a lot extra. What's I in feel this whole like part right here? I think it's nothing. There's nothing. It's I'm gonna probably drill straight through there. I don't think it's anything in here. Like I think it's just. It's just literally just the way it looks. But, okay, so let's go a pro with me, man. I want to say one of my favorite things yeah. about this gun is the handle sight. Yeah. You feel me? This shit comes with it. First of all, easy to carry your gun. You can easily sit it down, pick it up, maneuver with it without having your hand yeah. on the trigger, be safe. And boom, if you look, this shit is an actual sight. And it's a flip sight. So yeah. you can go from the O-ring to the U-site in the flick of a wrist. Yeah, that's pretty dope. That's one of my favorite things about the TriStar. And board. you can take this off and underneath and, is a full Picatinny yeah, rail. And you can put your own sights, but this is so dope, you don't want to take this off. Like you'd rather prefer to I'm at, I probably off. am gonna actually end up taking it off. Cause I'm gonna put, I want to put a, a, a red dot on here and some flip up sights. So I'll probably end up taking this off, but as of right now, you don't need it. Yeah, need out, it. out of the box, that shit is. Yeah, you straight with it. Straight, thing, straight, right? like for so, real. And like the trigger, the trigger pull is a bull pup trigger yeah, pull. It's, it's, it's not gonna be nothing special. Like anyway. probably about four or five pounds of pressure. Yeah, five and a half maybe. But it will knock your damn block off. I'm not even gonna play like you with that. And I'm sure y'all saw that at the beginning of the, uh, the video with all the shooting, but. It, it feels it feels like pretty good quality. Most of it's just like this hard, polymer. Yeah, polymer. But it's like it got like the the steel where it needs to be. Right. You know, all the important spots. It got all the you know steel all the inside. But a lot of this whole thing is pretty much just like this polymer. I guess that's what it is. And like they got the uh, rubber grip in the back. Uh, other than that, that's. What do you think of? Uh, uh, another thing I do like is the I like the AK charge. You know what I'm saying? I like the yeah. I like the charging handle. I just don't like the slide thing. Yeah. Know? I like this. My yeah. brother ended up getting extended for it, which makes it a lot easier to charge. But still, so nice. still out of the box. And this this is a, just a beautiful thing to have for any charge, any AK style charge. Is it, yeah. extension. Uh, a lot of ARs, you know, they have that trouble that trouble too. With, small charging handles but this right here i like the that. yeah i like that AK style and i will say if you get one of these there is a break-in period so and they tell you you gotta run like hot loads through this it, this gun really don't like like light loads right it don't it'll, it'll still fight like slugs just like for sure I'll like I, I can bang slugs out of this all day but like you put like a light little bird shot in there It'll, it'll and definitely on the last one, last shot, it'll, 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 it'll That's it'll really with any any shotgun. You know? Yeah. Nowadays, you just gotta go through that breaking up here. Yeah, so it's, it's been like, I've been putting straight slugs through this. Like I said, straight S car go. You come playing, break in, we weak. You ain't breaking out, goddamn. <laughs> like, you get sent up for judgment, I'm telling you right now. Okay. But, um,. Yeah, that's that's pretty much all I gotta say about it. Like, it's a it's a good gun. Would I recommend it? I would recommend it, but it is expensive. Yeah. Like, you can I feel like you can find better shotgun, better bullpups than it. Like, just than this way cheaper. Actually, I think I did. Yeah, he he. <laughs> we're we're gonna do a review over his shotgun, um, and hit his, his setup and why he got it set up the way he do. And I would say I would take his over this one. I haven't shot his yet, but like just the, the way it's built and the way it's put together, you, you can find a cheaper shotgun than this that isn't so awkward and it makes more sense to be honest. So I can't really say, yeah, go out and buy this. Cause this is like, this is like an $800 shotgun. <laughs> like I said, it was an impulse buy and I played myself <laughs> because now I can't go out to a gun shop by myself because every time I would go out by myself, I would come back with another gun. <laughs> now my old lady don't trust me just to go to the gun shop. 
I just randomly, I didn't research this, I, nothing. Mm -hmm. I, I just was like, but that was the one thing about it though. That's why yeah. I got the opportunity to study it or open those doors for me. That's true. I can make my investment into what I can. Yeah, so, um, yo, uh, the, I mean, I just put some music in back. It's new time. My nephew over here watching Kung Fu Panda. Uh, so, you know, but um, like I said, can, do I recommend, I feel like you can find a better shotgun than this for cheaper. Now, if you do get it, understand like it, it you know, it's gonna be a little awkward. It's one of those guns you're gonna have to like get comfortable it's with. It's an awesome gun. You're gonna love it once you do it. It's, it's, once you get comfortable with it, it's, it's, it's a like, bad You're gonna gun. feel like you're fucking Thor with Thor's hammer. Yeah. Once you get acquainted with this one. You you feel like this is a powerful gun. <laughs> yeah, like you're gonna oh, yeah. it you're has, walk around the house in your drawers with that motherfucker. Yeah, like, it got it months. got a sling. It got a uh, place where you can put sling at down here. Also, before I forget, so you can walk around. Trust me, and there's like extended magazines and all that. So you gonna feel like, look at this, look at that. <laughs> Boom. No, come on. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Ain't nothing but escargot coming there's, out of this. There's no pals coming out of this. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. That's it. Madden. Madden, Madden bro. bro. No, that's it. Boom. John Madden is his name, tough, bro. The tough actor, ten actor. <laughs> Knock your damn block off. I'm telling you, it's yeah. no joke. You are gonna feel like, hey, I got some shit that's gonna, it's gonna flip you if it hits you. So, and like I said, short, it's short uh, barrel, you can sweep with this, but I feel like also you can find something better than this for way cheaper than this. This is this is really expensive. It, it, so. Like you said, it's, it's the aesthetics, man. You want that yeah. Halo, Starship Trooper, crazy ass video game gun sitting right. in the living room. There it is right there. Like, ain't nobody gonna see you like, pull this up. That's and gonna army of two, bro. Like, nobody's gonna move towards you if you say, hey, bro, and Boom. you pull this up. <laughs> I'm John Madden. You're gonna, <laughs> you're gonna split, you can knock an engine out of somebody's car with this, bro. Like, it, it's not a joke. It's not a joke. So, I would say, you know, it's up to you. It's beauty and the eye of man. What do you want? What tickles your fancy? It's up to you, man. Put the research in, study. Definitely don't do what find, I did. Find what you want, what you truly want. Yeah, research your guns and actually, uh, yeah, and so, if you want it, TriStar Arms Tactical Bullpup. I, I mean, I do, real, I, especially as of late, I've been actually shooting a lot more. I actually do really enjoy shooting this gun. I enjoy it. But if I had to do it all over, would I get this? Probably not, to be honest. I would, I would get another, like a cheaper bullpup shotgun that uh, pretty much do the same damn thing, but makes more sense. It's not so awkward. But like, if you do have this, you just gotta practice where to get it comfortable that's it. with the, with everything. And that's just with any gun, really. You yeah, know. that's a fact. So, there I'm you go. Sorry, man. So until next time, let me know what y'all think. Let me know what type of shotgun you got. Cause I might be in the market for another one. You dig? Yeah, so until yeah, next time, y'all yeah. be easy. Make sure y'all hit that like, comment, subscribe. Hit that, uh, that bell notification. Make sure you check out my brother's music. Yes, sir. It's everywhere. Y'all go follow me on Instagram too at the stereotype 92 all together, one word. Boom. My nephew wanna say something? Bye, have a great time. <laughs> With his leather, he got a random leather glove. I don't know where you got that from. I think he has an eagle somewhere. Probably yeah, probably just gonna, <laughs> so, just gonna land on it. <laughs> just open the door. <laughs> <laughs> For real. I mean, say if I got a message to talk to, who are you communicating <laughs> with? <laughs> make, make sure you subscribe to my own, my uncle's channel. There you go. I appreciate that. I, I'll take all of them. We're on the road to 500. Let's get it.